The first is a major issue with the Nigerian economy is a relatively low level of capital investment. How can we ensure that the right policies and systems are in place to attract more capital investments in Nigeria? I think this is an issue that will overflow, you know. Evidently, Nigeria does not have the capital. Even Saudi Arabia, despite their reserve, don't have the capital to build what they want. And um, at elementary economics, they will tell you that resources are scarce and they have alternative uses. So the same dollar you are chasing in Nigeria is the same dollar they are chasing in Saudi Arabia and other continents. So what do we do? We make our place attractive. And one way to make it attractive is that we make our processes transparent. Make sure we reduce for stem corruption, and then we encourage our people to invest locally because foreigners won't come if they haven't seen you done something locally. So those three things together will have a long way. What I've heard a lot of the panelists and speakers say is that we need to have a more effective rule of law. Would you? I mean, do you say you agree with that? Yeah, that's why I'm talking about transparency and having the condition for it to drive. I do agree. Then what do you think we need to put in place aside from the rule of law and um, tackle corruption to have a more productive population? Because like you said, we need to do a bit of the local investment. You know, but there are probably some immigrants with access to local things. What do you think we can do to make it more attractive? Yeah, I'm talking about productivity, we need to look at even the workforce, the labor. Our labor will need to get to be more efficient. Uh, we need to have the skills locally. I do make this discussion with people that maybe in the next four or five years we'll get power right, we'll get the federal government industry right, but where are the workforce? If you look at the privatized P PHCN, all the guys that are working today are the same old people, you don't have any young people, our construction industry has been booming, but you don't have the rest of our workforce to say that. People will need to realize what are the skills you need for today and the future. And so the critical thing we need to do is to look at our entire regional sector and revamp it and prepare people for the need of today and tomorrow. But in addition to education, and I think, I, I pay a lot of this about the social level of it. Our people need to be a lot healthy. If you bring the infrastructure, our people are healthy and you have education, I think it will become very productive and they will be able to reach out to Nigeria, West Africa in particular, rather than looking at Europe and Eurasia. I think you just got the next question. I was going to ask you to say, would you rather we look locally or we look outside of Nigeria for the talents and skills that we need? I think we have, we need to do, I mean, it, it both ways. You develop the people that are here and try and attract the freedom of Nigerians we have outside. It's said that Europe, the combination of professionals in Europe are more, Nigerian professionals in Europe are more than what we have locally. So how do you begin to do a reverse brain drain? What are the things we need to replace? And those are the challenges we need to be addressing to make work come down. Yeah, I have a final question. What are some of the lessons you think emerging, an emerging market like Nigeria can learn from established markets such as America and China in order to get them to the level of these established markets? I think I will look at China rather than look at America. China is very recent, so we can learn from them. And you kind of, it's a nation that plans long term and our focus. We need that a lot in Nigeria. We're looking at how to deal with today, tomorrow. No long-term plans. When I was growing up, you know what they call the development plans. The last one stopped with the fourth one. The fifth never saw the light of the day. And we're talking about 2015 now. What are the plans? Everybody keep talking about now, now, now. Forgetting that if you don't plan for the long run, we're not going to get this right. So China is always focused. If you pick China up, you will see what is it they're doing in the next 15, 20 years. And they are focused on it. And don't even look at nations. Look at corporations. Few corporations have done well in Nigeria. I guess have done long-term plan, they've stuck to it. They've adjusted it to, 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 to look at the environment. But they're focused on what they want to be, and they've done it. So Nigeria will need to begin to plan for the long term. We need to reduce our pension for short termism and look at medium and long term. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you.